there, Scorpio. This is Infinity, and welcome to your 2 22 20 whoa, whoa, 2021. Putting these in here. 2021 portal tarot reading with Oracle. We're going to get two or three moonology cards and one hidden world Oracle card after, whoop, there's a card, after uh, eight tarot cards here working with the Lightseer tarot. Your first card is the three of wands. Here at Scorpio. And just to let you know, I have a website where I, you can get uh, readings with me, tarot, oracle, or just regular psychic readings. I don't have to use tarot. And energy healing. I work with animals and people. So check it out. I have a lot of ebooks on there. And I offer two hour consultation for my. Um, for my Evolve Now program. So let's check it out. And we have the world. Hmm, let me see here, right side up or upside down? Seeing this right side up with the world. So three of wands and the world. See what this is. The ten of swords straight up. The queen of pentacles in reverse. Interesting cards. Three of wands. The world, the sorry, the wheel. I was called for some reason. I apologize. For some reason, when I see this card, I think of the world. And so it's the wheel, not the world. Forgive me. <laughs> uh, Ten of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, oh, here we go. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. And another card, Justice, uh, in reverse. Interesting. Five of Wands, straight up. And lastly, oh, very cool. The Empress, straight up. Awesome, awesome. awesome. And we're going to get one last one. It's been sometimes eight or nine cards. And your ninth card is King of Swords. Straight up. So here we go. Here is Scorpio. With your cards here. So let's give me a minute here to take it in and start getting some information here for you, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. So this is interesting. The reading kind of has me feeling several different things. And I'm honestly having a bit of a time like sorting it out. I don't usually, I don't usually feel so like that. <laughs> it's interesting. <clears throat> um, I will just get into it and tell you what I am picking up. First off, I feel like there is a divine feminine aspect in your life, a person that represents, I, I feel it's motherly um, or so it's supposed to be a mother, like the, your mom or your stepmom, or it could be an aunt or a grandmother, but somebody that's supposed to be like that for you. Um, and you, so this would represent you and them being in reverse and just closed eyes and seeing, seeing, going in two different directions, being very, very different people. 
And I do pick up that it's, it feels more motherly, I'll just say that, but it could be other things that represent that sort of thing. Um, and with the three of wands, we're starting off, and these readings are really, the way that they've been is uh, past, present, future, in however way it comes through. Some people's uh, presence are more over here, sometimes they're here or here in different places, but we're getting to the future with these last cards here. And we're starting off here. So this is the way that, that that's been going and telling us what's what we need to know. Um, I feel that you did try to separate from this person and it, there could be more than one person. It could also represent the people that are associated with this person. So Scorpio, it could be that it was like, like one person in the family, but maybe it extended to other people. This could also be, let's say, like somebody in your group of friends or possibly, yeah, that's, it wouldn't be, I don't feel it being a business thing. It's, it's personal, very personal. So either friends or family. Anyway, I feel like you, you did try to separate from that and or them and so you you took off on your own i feel physically very like you actually left um and and i think you you were able to possibly even travel around really move out of of where you were felt very you know free and had fun and was enjoying you know the world or even partying and that kind of thing but mostly it was just about exploring and movement and um that sort of thing And in the process, connecting to your guides more, kind of spiritually awakening more, seeing the bigger picture, looking out from a higher perspective. And I think we're, whether you recognize it or not, there's just this unfinished business here. Like, like, and this is what we can also refer to as cords, energy cords. And this has been a theme in almost every, well, in every single, pretty much every single one. It's just been a theme for a couple months now where people really need to think about, understand, learn about energy cords and how they work and how they're tied to people, especially people from our family, people who um, we have sex with, have relationships with, even, I mean, any, anybody you can have an energy cord with, but they're stronger, bigger, um, take more life force, require more energy with some people than others. It's, they're not all the same. So there's definitely this energy happening here. Okay, so that's one thing. Another pay, another book comes in to say, this is actually past life stuff, karma stuff, stuff you, you either know or you're starting to figure out that whether there is this maternal person or not, that it's also so tied into your past and working out karmic highs and there's more to it than meets the eye and so it, on that level too it's good to explore these chords and what they all represent so it could be that that she that she is representing your she's upside down with her eyes closed but she's important she's the queen of of pentacles she's probably also tied into money your issues about money, whatever they are, whatever your money wound is, I don't care who you are on the planet, pretty much everybody has some kind of issue with, <clears throat> excuse me, abundance and money. So you should look into the meditation that I did the other day for clearing abundance, 
blocks and uh, healing the money wound. Um, just opening up to your to your abundance through this practice, through this self healing practice meditation that I guide you through. Um, that was channeled down. I don't design my my meditations; they're one hundred percent channeled in the moment. So over these last few days, we've gotten a lot of very foundational bricks to to work with money, abundance, self-love and our guardian angels. And the one for today was um, connecting, reconnecting, healing and integrating with your inner child. So all of which is very important. So please take a look at those um, meditations. They're to be done after the new moon meditation, but if that all feels very overwhelming, just do the one that that you feel is most relevant for you. <clears throat> I'm picking up that it would definitely be money. And we have justice upside down here in reverse. And we have queen of pentacles and we have page of pentacles also. So money, the money wound, the divine feminine, past lives, karmic ties, that sort of thing. Soulmates with really deep, uh, complicated energy and relationship going on here with these two. Um, and really the need to balance out the energy from your higher self and you. And and truth. I'm hearing truth. We need to get clear about what is true, what is real, who you are, what the deal is, what it all means. So you can, you know, continue on your journey. I feel like this is a big kind of a, a big thing for the sign of Scorpio to work on. Um, and, and as each sign, as each group of elements work on their individual stuff, it helps everybody else with that individual stuff. And we just all take turns cleaning energy so cutting cords again, I have a, a, an ebook on the importance of cutting cords and the guided meditation that comes with it. That's on my podcast. It's a deep healing practice. Um, and it helps bring back energy into the body. It's just been a major theme this whole year coming up in every reading for this portal. And let's not forget this portal for two, two, if I, didn't mention at the beginning. Let's not forget if in case you don't know, I'm talking like, you know, not everybody knows this. The 222 portal is for divine union. So those twos are ones coming together. So, so connecting with your higher self, cutting cords with energy that no longer serves you and needing to pull back that, that energy into your body. Cutting cords and cords can be reconnected very and quite easily if you choose to, sometimes even if you don't choose to. So it takes some, some working with the energy like that, but it truly, truly works. Very, very important to do that. So you can have the energy pulled back into it's what it's all about, pulling back the energy into the body that is connected to places, people, situations, traumas, addictions, things like that, that hold you back. Because we we're looking here at this five of wands out of there. Let's take a look at this five of wands now. And what I'm thinking with this is once you get this done, once you dig deep and really start working and really thinking about connecting also this this card specifically this queen of pentacles also represents just gaia to me mother earth gaia having your connection with nature and and it feels there's that there's disconnect there a bit of a bit of this that it could be stronger not that you don't love nature and everything but you really feeling the energy like you could, and, and if you see here, we have the Empress 
here with the world and we have this card to me representing Gaia. Here she's straight up, here she's upside down. So to see how if you, and when you do this work, and of course the sooner the better because there's like a week left till the 22 portal. So if you could do as much as this internal meditative work and each day I'm putting out a new brick, a new, a new, a new piece of the puzzle for, for these healings that, that are coming through for me to, to facilitate and, and give to the collective, just please take a look at that cutting cords, um, the abundance, the abundance. I keep pointing to this because it, it feels like a pinnacle, feels like more pinnacles, but is this is the wheel, but it feels like for you to get on top of this thing because it is tied into money. And maybe that's the conflict here with this person, like is tied into money. And maybe she's very materialistic and really values money and all that stuff. And you're very different than that. And there's just, I feel like that's part of it. I feel like, like the scales need to come back into balance with you, with your own money wound, with you, with this whole karmic tie thing that we have going on here with, with this person. And again, it could be yourself, could be your higher self trying to connect and, or, you know, karmic past lives that are, were, that are trying to, to come in, but there's this block there. And then and then once you do that and sort it out, it's like all the pieces come together with this five of wands and really helps you get past this um, and, and really flip the, the script on the energy here. <clears throat> and also helping you out with balancing out the divine feminine and the divine masculine within you. Um, and I, and so I think that that is why we have this king here after the empress. <laughs> I was even thinking of moving them into this configuration. So that can change our perspective a little bit with what we have going on here. Um, getting past this and moving into a place where things are put together, helping, you're helping yourself. You may come into contact with others that are going to help you. You're going to see just from different sources. Different sources are going to get you going to do this for you. You know, these are your guides guiding you and you're getting more connected and sorting out the chaos, the drama, what's real, what's not, what you need to let go of, what you need to work on. And I think that to get you there, that, that there is going to be cooperation or at least information from other people to help you see the light, to help you do what you need to do, reconcile with yourself, heal, and put out energy, loving energy to this situation here so you can move on, cut cords. Um, and then here with our our empress and our king of swords. I really feel like this just opens up the door for this type of energy to come through. And I see this card as um, it, he, this card comes through to me like Archangel Michael energy, very, very strong, very protective, very, um, helpful in, in helping guide you. And so and this can also be a more earthly person, um, somebody who personifies that type of energy um, is most likely an earth angel. And um, and so this person 
representing Michael or, or a person who is very trustworthy, very strong, that would care about you, that type of thing. This could be a best friend. This could be an older, like somebody older that can mentor you, help you, show you, um, or just have this type of energy that just makes you feel like they know what they're talking about. They're really, you feel safe. You like their energy. Your, um, and so this, I see this being a, a transitional, in transition, coming into this, not not quite like that, basically that the, the portal is gonna activate this energy and it's gonna activate this energy, make it so you can feel and and really get into what, what it's like to work with your guardian angels and archangels. Um, I'm also feeling, I'm really, I keep looking at this moon here. It keeps getting my attention. I think more than ever with this, <laughs> it's like big time. So probably most like we have two big things going on for the, for the 27th. It's, it's a power ascension day on its own. It's also the full moon. It's the next big day after the 222 portal. And I did notice here we have the world, sorry, holy goodness, I keep doing that. The wheel and the 10 of swords here. Um, so two tens. So I just, I'm hearing this, look at it as a sign that those two ones coming together to do the two, this is about divine union. This is about on being on your path, whatever that you've done so far to get you to this place to, to ready you for this kind of internal healing and work um, has been the divine plan like all along. Um, and I think that you're, you know, highly spiritual. You think you're very psychic. I think you, you are in tune with the world around you and what goes on and you do you, you you are connected but it's been more on like a tv on in the other room is what they're showing me not you sitting right in front of the tv so every once in a while you can pick up on stuff and it really helps you but getting past this energy getting into balance doing healings clearing cord cutting gotta cut these cords here um and working towards the light, doing the different work. To, so this is representing other people that are that have been guiding you, you doing the work and going in order here. So a lot of cooperation in different ways and going towards the light <clears throat> and really coming to a place of peace, balancing out the energies within the, you know, more of that divine feminine, divine masculine also taking place working with your guides and guardians to be, to be, you know, shown or, and also bringing in this type of person into your life and in, in the real world. Cause I'm seeing this kind of here, like above and below kind of thing going on here. Um, so there we have it. Let's get into the moonology. Let's see. Wow. Oh, Okay, this card is a repeater, keeps coming out, not in every reading, but a lot of them, and so does this one other card. So let's see if that other card comes out. It's, oh, it's with every one of these readings after the fourth one, it's been like, is this happening in every single reading? And it hasn't, but it almost has. <laughs> this is one of the cards this is look at the bigger picture full moon and sagittarius look at the bigger picture so this is about every time i get this card i want to do the same thing with it which is bring it up here and this representing you so you can really see this from a higher perspective have that energy really be 
what how you're seeing this time period right now, how you're seeing your most recent past. And when you're working on cord cutting, going all the way back in time to the very beginning of your life is what's necessary for cord cutting. Um, I'm hearing regardless of what is going on or what went, what went on with your mother or your father or both of them. Oh my goodness, I can't think. Um, it's a, always a good idea to cut cords with your parents. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. I, this is, I'm not seeing this one. Time to give rather than take. Mm, I want to get one more I'm hearing. We'll let this all come together here. Okay, go. And luck is on your side too with Sagittarius, new moon in Sagittarius and full moon in Sagittarius. Wow, interesting. Inter oh, this is making me so itchy. Um. Two new moons, two new moons, luck is on your side. I'm really feeling this like give rather than take is about, it's interesting, it's right on this, it's right on justice, right on balancing, right on, um, Things need needed needing to come into balance, seeing things. And so what I'm feeling here with this is that and from see it from a higher see things from a higher perspective is like or look at things from a higher perspective, right? Look, oh no, look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. Um, it comes through as having a higher perspective. Uh, it's like give yourself the time it, it, it is required right now even if it means changing some plans around give yourself the time that you need right now to take care of this stuff to really get into it internally um then then uh going then doing other things so so give yourself the time rather than taking more time to get to it is what i keep hearing give yourself that time it's important um not that it wouldn't be effective if you do it in a month let's say but right now what this is the portal this is the energies this is what's coming through right now it's very important if you if you know to get in a better state of mind, physically, energetically, bringing in the the new energies for connection, for collaboration. Um, I also feel like there maybe it's been imbalance. Like maybe there's some project you've been working on really hard, and you've just been like working, 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 and there needs to come into balance with taking time for yourself, for self care, for resting. I'm hearing and feeling taking baths and of course doing the meditations and just really taking time to take care of you and to sift through this because there's not, it's not like there's a lot. It's just what there is, 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 is heavy. Um, okay. And then luck is on your side. So I also feel like this is saying, it's not going to be as like, it's going to be liberating. You're going to be like, oh my God, I love this so much. It's not going to be like work. It's not going to be like, you know, therapy or anything like, it's just going to be so, it, it really is very, very loving, very, um, all the meditations that have come out recent, uh, recently have been just about healing and all of that. So definitely, 
definitely know that it's going to be, it's going to be easier than you, than you may think. It's going to be easier than you may think, but I'm, is what I'm seeing here. And you just have to take the time to, to do that. Give yourself that time, take the time that's needed, that sort of thing. Okay. So we're going to do a hidden world oracle. Oh. Light dancer, card number 24, illumination, the radiant self, shining soul. Oh, it's such a beautiful card. Such a beautiful card. Okay. Read directly from the book, pages number 82 and 83, Light Dancer, make sure I'm on the right, right one here, Illumination, the Radiant Self, Shining Soul. Each of us is designed to find within us the light we see outside of ourselves. And with our five senses, we cannot see all that is. We cannot take in all that is truly within this world, the universe. But through reaching for the light that lies within us all, you have sought to become a more loving person. You have searched for the oneness and lost the sense of division. For moments, there have been pure bliss. And when it has departed, you have been sad as though you failed. Oh, it's so sad. But it's basically like this, this is what they're showing me. You have felt that bliss, but then it's parted and then you felt sad. They're <laughs> like, there you go. Um, and thought you have failed because it just isn't sticking. It isn't staying. As a human being, you cannot perceive all that is all the time. But in those moments when the bliss and peace of the truth of our connection and acceptance of our transition or transitory journey within and through our bodies, the alignment with values that respect and love the earth, where we find union with others like ourselves, we find ourselves dancing with the light. So again, nothing more with Gaia. I'm just stopping as we're doing this because it's coming to me and connecting with others. So it's, it's just doing that here. Life has an ease and flow to it. And we feel we could reach out a hand and touch the stars. This moment has come to you, even if you have forgotten this, it, its power. And it is here to remind you again of the beauty of the heart and the soul of the relationship you have to the infinite, which lies within you and without you. The light dancer tenderly touches what she can see in the hidden spaces of the universe and within your heart. When she comes to you, it is to remind you that you too are a light dancer, a being of the infinite universe, and you are as graceful, as aware, and as tender as she is. And illumination, I am evolving into a, an enlightened being, dancing with the light that dwells within me. Oh. So oh, beautiful. So yeah, you are. You are. That's what this is. That's what this is. This full reading is about. It's like you, you have been doing. Like I said in the beginning, like you realized you needed to go. You needed to get out. You've been through situations that have shown you this, and it's just, it's just more that needs to be reconnected. That needs to be connected, and to believe in magic. To believe in in beings that can reach in and touch us with light and spark our light and motivate us and and uh inspire us to be uh more in touch with our light and more in touch with the the balancing of our inner child of our of our inner child and the adult light worker 